this is a big day here at WTAJ. Uh, it's an emotional day. Yes, yeah. it's an emotional day. And uh, all past a uh, couple newscasts, we've mm. been saying goodbye to John. And um, you've had a long career here, 21 years, mm -hmm. absolutely incredible. I have so much respect for you, John. I feel like I know your career now. I've spent, you. I've spent hours going over John <laughs> Clay's career, watching videos of the past, and uh, I'm, it's just... Well, I have to, I have to say uh, thanks so much to you, particularly for being my partner here in the desk. Uh, people don't quite understand what it's like for us that we spend so much yes. time together mm -hmm. and uh, really become family, and that's just uh, such a great part of what we do here, and to be able to share that with everybody at Absolutely. home. Absolutely. And, um, you know, I love to be able to be a teacher, and I love the fact that uh, people are willing to listen and learn or yes. whatever, and so I, I, we've had a great uh, relationship, you know, and I really appreciate that, and it's been a joy to just not only here within the building, but I cannot tell you how much the community has been welcoming and loving. Every time I go anywhere out in the community, people are so great. And I just, I, uh, I never mind it when people say hello and whatever. And it's weird that that's going to change a little yeah, bit. A little. Maybe, you know, I'll be over at the VA in Altoona helping so, with some veterans programs and volunteers. And I'm just so gracious. Uh, I'm just so grateful that I get to do something like that. So. Well, so John, we wanted to share with you at home too and with you a look back at your career. Uh, so take a look. From SCB, La Madalena, here's local news with Navy journalist John Clay. Good evening. Monday, and so the USS Orion action is on the way, but first it's time for community announcements. It's been providing this service for 112 years, percent full on the reservoirs, and that's been a good thing. He joins us live via Potter Mills, where a man is... You are watching WTAJ News at 5 with John Clay and Carol Donaldson. Uh -huh. Let's check in with the governor to find out. Governor Rendell joins us now live from Harrisburg tonight. More exclusive interviews in the Ray Greekar disappearance. Right, right. Joins us now live with the exclusive details. Jeff? Hi, Chuck. Well, it's certainly interesting. You never know how close you're going to get to a story while covering it. It's all in there. I was out there Sunday in Bullsburg and uh, the state college. Should the campus will be located right here. The weather could have been a distraction. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Okay, all right. It's uh, well, very, stare at it. very well uh, oh. cooked. <laughs> <laughs> Casey Kantz and John Clay face off for a breakfast challenge. Oh, oh. <laughs> Seven, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Three and five, four, three. Well, I'm the lost hiker, and the question is, uh, sorry, I need to redo that. Three. Well, I'm the lost hiker, and the premise of this exercise is how long is it going to take? It's, uh, I'm changing it up, sorry. Take, take five. In five, four, three. Well, I'm the lost hiker, and the premise of this exercise is to find out how long the Central Region Emergency Strike Team will take to find me. See, what that is, Amanda, is, you know, when a man has to explain something to a woman in a really condescending way. I'm going to forget you said that. And John dancing. There he goes. All right, John. <laughs> How's it going over there? That's right. I, I definitely uh, got to keep moving. Cheers yes. to working together. That's great. And hump day. That's, uh, it's strange you put those together. It's the middle of the week, John. <laughs> That's what they Still, call it. very strange sometimes. I... Answers inspiring people all around the world. John Clay was there and joins us now from State College. About this. So many people knew about it. Anyone has any information about the whereabouts of Ballard, they're asked to contact state police. They found Ballard's uh, van, the van that he was driving, just across Highway 322. They don't really have any leads to where he may be now. Now we're back live here. In Cena, a black male here 
along the highway. We don't know who it is yet. We've called police. We were uh, giving our a broadcast just about 15 minutes ago. A black man walked out of the woods here. They uh, approached with uh, loaded shotguns, and uh, they quickly confirmed that this was a suspect, uh, David Ballard. Made a change driving after decided to make a change is so that I could just be uh, around more during the day for the boys or in the evening for the boys. So it's uh, so happy to, to uh, show Jack and Max and Anson here. Uh, what a great family they've uh, been a part of here at the TV <laughs> station. Uh, I always want to come into the news station and spend time with everybody. So thank you so much. Uh, just really love you guys. And you are so loved, John. Yes. We all love, love you love. so and much. And you won't be missed because you'll be right here still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm going to have to do Facebook Lives. <laughs> <laughs> Every weekend for the station. Uh, and we will continue to share some uh, our adventures. We do a lot of adventuring out in the, in the community. So we'll, we'll continue to be out there. Yep. Thank you, John. Thank oh, you thank for all you. the answers. Good luck. Thanks. Thank you so much. We'll see you tonight at 11.